Thank you very much, um, Director of Ceremonies. As the Deputy Director General um, of CIC, Mr. Mark Green, the Right Honorable Marianne Petkova Nikolava, Deputy Prime Minister of Bulgaria, Honorable Ministers, present here, Honorable Deputy Minister. Honorable Bernadette Yahoo, Deputy Minister of our Ministry of Environment and Tourism. Mr. George Aman, President of um, the CIC. Mr. Christian Nyes, Head of CIC Namibia, Namibia Delegation. Mr. Benen. And the Lutheran, the NAFA president, the president of uh, Professional Handers Association of Africa, honorable members of parliament present here, honorable members of the uh, European Union parliament, Mr. Tofeles Mutila, executive director of the Ministry of Environment and Tourism, and other official present here. Members of the Namibian Defense Force, CIC family members, <coughs> distinguished invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to you all. Um, Namibia is very delighted to be the host for this year's General Assembly and the Wildlife International Conference for the Council for Game and Wildlife Conservation, CIC which brings together nearly 200 delegates from all over the world. Our country is proud, and also we are a proud member of the CIC, and we have been participating in this gathering for more than 10 years now. At onset, allow me to commend the leadership of CIC and uh, President Aman for having chosen Munduk to be the hosting venue of this uh, important gathering. On behalf of the people of Namibia, permit me to welcome you, Mr. President, and the entire CIC membership, various speakers and invited guests to this very beautiful country. The rest of the ceremony Ladies and gentlemen, the theme of this international conference has been appropriately coined, namely quote and unquote, crossroads leading the way for wildlife conservation. <coughs> this theme is drawing on us to do our part in conserving our wildlife. Wildlife conservation will only succeed if people in a given country origin are able to drive benefits from such resources. In this connection, Namibia strongly believes and advocates for sustainable use of our wildlife resources. This conservation model has worked and it continues to work for us as a country, such that our wild populations have significantly increased over the past years, owing to the value that our people realize in our wildlife, especially local communities. While we acknowledge and respect that others have um, their views that are contrary to ours, we believe in our views, but be equally valued and this value should, uh, this term uh, views be equally valued by others as well. And they uh, must be respected by those who oppose our views. The time is now, ladies and gentlemen, to take a step for what we believe is appropriate for wildlife conservation. And, uh, and that is what we believe in. And send a strong 
an overall message that um, sustainable use of our water is the future for conservation. And for Namibia, is a constitutional um, imperative. Removing value and tangible benefits will ultimately render our wildlife worthless. And no one will dare to preserve and conserve them. I am informed um, that this conference will discuss not only wildlife conservation and sustainable utilization, but will also look at the uh, efforts to curb the ugly scourge of wildlife poaching, particularly that of um, elephants and rhinos in our range of countries. With its own increase now, across Africa especially. I'm also told that um, you will discuss issues around the link between corruption and illegal wildlife trafficking. Poaching and corruption undermine our conservation efforts. And we need to collectively put our hands on the board to bring this destructive tendencies to a complete stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to know that opportunities will be given to corporate entities to discuss their issues for wildlife conservation in their respective continents, such as North, North America, Latin America, Europe, Asia, Pacific, and also, of course, Africa. For us in Africa, we are pleased that people who directly live with them, this wildlife, they coexist with this wildlife, and they hear all the brands, in most cases, sometimes even loss of lives. These are the grassroots who must be afforded an opportunity and platforms to share the views, how they feel about this. There's a saying in the African tribe that if you want to know how what is the fire, you know the fire will put a pot. You should not ask the cook, ask the pot itself how it feels the heat of the fire. Nice people must be given a platform to discuss solutions to wildlife conservation challenges from their own perspective. It is our wish that the outcome of this conference will go a long way in shaping the narratives and discourse around wildlife conservation ahead of the upcoming world gathering, such as the Conference of the Parties, for the Convention of uh, International Trade in Intelligence Species, and also for the Convention of International Trade in Intelligence Species and the IUC, the World Conservation Congress in France next year. Finally, I would love to inform you that Namibia it's a country full of natural resources and the beauties. And in Brawl, I just want to implore you to visit some of our parks. A very attractive um, parts, attraction parts like uh, the Tosha National Park, which boasts large heads of wildlife species. The world known source of clay in our Namibian Atroft Park with the mountain spent sand dunes, the longest sand dunes that you have in the world. And also to do to visit um, our many safari operators and enjoy the hospitality of Namibia and the Namibian people. And uh, also eventually you become ambassador of this beautiful tourism destination. <coughs> and I always say for those who, for the first time, come to Namibia, um, 
or even come to Africa with yourself. I say, if um, you were, have been to Africa before and you have not visited Namibia, you have not yet experienced the beauty of Africa. Because of the diversity of beauties here. And if you have been to um, Africa and you have not seen, you just came here in the capital and you have not seen our attractions all over, then you have not seen the taste of Namibia yet. And I urge you to visit all our attractions. I mentioned just two. First, Tosha National Park. Second, that was our source of play. And you might have heard, some of you have never visited that club. It's good if you do that. And you can also come back later for your family, for leisure time, and uh, visit them all of And I'm um, with my colleagues, the ministry, the country of tribes, we are ready to host you. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best in your deliberations. for these uh, words of wisdom and a beautiful introduction also to, to Namibia. Um, the next person I would like to call to the stage is uh, CIC President George Adan uh, to give a few words on, from the side of the CIC. Thank you. Honourable Minister, Deputy Minister, Honourable Guest, dear friends of CIC. Why did we choose Namibia? It's a very simple answer to this. It's because you are leading the way in conservation. You are leading the way in showing the world, in particular the African world, how to do, what to do with wildlife. So this is a absolutely clear point why we are here. It is a, a great honor to be here and I would like to thank you, Ministry of Environment and Transportation, for your great support. Thank you very much for all this. I would like to thank the Namibian delegation for doing such a fabulous job and helping. I would like to thank NAFA for a great support. It would have been not possible without, without all your sweat and muscle put into this uh, beautiful conference. Well, crossroads. That means that we are somewhere where we should decide where do we go. And I think it becomes clearer and clearer that just putting hunting on our flag is probably not a very smart way to go further. What we need to do is to put conservation in front. We are conserving. And when we are conserving, we are conserving our wildlife, the nature. Without wildlife and nature, there is no hunting. So I think we came at this point where we have to start to understand that we are the prime conservationist of, of uh, wildlife and of nature. We have, how do we do this? We build alliances. That is very important. Alliances with people who think alike, but also very much alliances with other people who are not of the same opinion as we are. And we have to take up discussions. It is very important to do so. Secondly, we need to communicate, communication. We have to go into the press, we have to be present, we have to tell what is our goal, what we want to do. It's not just about hunting, it's about conservation. And these are very important messages. And thirdly, I said yesterday at the press conference, uh, education, and then one of the gentlemen from the press told me, 
education doesn't sound well. It's, it's, it's got a bad notation to it. You should say information. And I think he's very right. It should be, we should inform people better, not educate them. So these are the three major points. And uh, I think we, you will see uh, during this conference here in the next days that we have put a, a very powerful, a very strong group of people, of speakers, which, represented, which are represented from all continents, except Australia, and uh, we are going to listen to extremely interesting topics. And I hope you enjoy this, I hope you are here, you're listening, and I think we all come back with a rucksack full of new impressions and of fabulous memories. A scientifically be friendship. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much and enjoy this conference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, the next person that I would like to uh, call to the stage is someone who's helped a lot with the organization of this GA. As you all know, CIC is an international organization but we rely very much on the work of our national delegations. I'd like to call to the stage as a representative of the CIC Namibia delegation, Ms. Danene, uh, Mrs. Danene van Westerosen, please. Stage is yours. Honorable Minister, Pomboji Feta, Deputy Minister, Deputy Prime Minister of Bulgaria, Excellencies, Dignitary CIC President George Aman, distinguished guests, members and friends of the CIC, ladies and gentlemen, all practical observed. My name is Danine van der Westeisen. It is a bit difficult, Mark. <laughs> and I'm extremely honored to deliver the official welcome and opening address of the 66th CIC General Assembly. It is a great privilege for Namibia to host this assembly. They say that there are more than 40 signs to unmistakably notice in Namibian. We are, it appears, weird and wonderful in many ways, and people that come across our paths are both shocked and delighted. We locals are also apparently <coughs> oblivious to our strange little habits. Some of these habits are pointed out as follows. When we speak, we hop between languages frantically, but somehow everybody understands us quite well. Jägermeister, beer and oros are crucial to a healthy diet and at least one of these can be found in any household. Meat is also essential to our health and we are dead serious when we tell you that chicken is most certainly considered a vegetable. We call traffic lights robots. We always try to find an excuse to have a party. Wednesdays, noon, weddings, rain and of course beer once the plane has passed. We approach winter much, lo much like a Game of Thrones character. Winter is coming. We are constantly wishing and praying for rain, all the time, non-stop. And when the rains unleash, even the schools stop to give the children time to splash outside. But after a few hours without direct sunlight, we enter withdrawal and quickly sink into depression. We refer to home as Nan, as in Namibia, not Vietnam. All of these character traits and many more make up the Namibian people. They are kind, they are brave, they are fantastic hosts, but most of all, they are proud. Proud of our country, its wildlife and its people. Welcome to Namibia, a country that offers marvelous wide open spaces, a country which has proven its conservation efforts for habitat preservation and all game species. The theme, as you've heard and definitely know, of this General Assembly is Crossroads, leading the way for wildlife conservation. This definition of Crossroads reads, a point at which a crucial decision must be made, which will have far-reaching consequences. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to share with you a simple <coughs> lesson I learned some years ago. It might seem very plain, and some have heard me tell this story before, but in fact it is of vital importance for all of you that are gathered here today. 
A few years ago, my husband and I thought it good to buy our oldest daughter, Elizabeth, a dog. We wanted her to realize the value of a life, of having a trustworthy friend, but most of all, we wanted her to be able to teach her a sense of responsibility. So the day came when we presented her with this brand new, beautiful, cute puppy on her fifth birthday. And needless to say, we couldn't wait to see her in her expression. But her reaction came as a total shock to us. She took the puppy in her arms, and while she was busy, softly brushing its hair with her small fingers, she mumbled something. And I looked at her and I asked her to please speak up. She softly said, this is going to be a problem. My husband and I laughed at a remark and we asked her why. Why would this present present a problem to you? And she looked up at me with tears in her eyes and replied, Mama, because all of a sudden I have everything to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, you chose to be here today. You are the decision makers. You are directly responsible for the future of conservation. You have got everything to lose. I believe that shortcuts are for lazy people and crooks. To achieve success, you must be brave, have courage, be committed, have integrity, and most importantly, have vision. This is the golden chance to stop walking in the shadows, to stop defending our traditions which contribute to habitat preservation and a healthy lifestyle, but to rather proactively lead with a total different mindset. How much are we all prepared to offer? So few are prepared to give enough money, enough time, and enough effort to establish a total turnaround, to portray hunting that provides us with an expansive sense of what it means to be a human being, where we fit into the circle of life, our rightful role of participating in nature and therefore representing the fact that no being is omnipotent or invulnerable. If you don't have anything positive to contribute, if you cannot stand up here and be counted to take responsibility for your actions, if you are not committed to give all it takes, and this includes lots of money, and if you cannot follow through with actions, then please stay silent. This forum and its great agenda gives us all the opportunity to deliberate, to take the necessary steps, and to embrace the support that CIC provides us to make a difference, to be true conservationists. I am greedy for a life well lived. I want to survive, and not only recreationally. I want to doubt, I want to fail, I want to fall. I want to find myself empty-handed despite my best, truest efforts. I want to work hard, redeem myself and be redeemed. I want to know myself better. I want to fear the wild and I want to be feared. And so, I hunt. I would like to thank, especially again the Ministry, especially Ellie and, and Johnson for their great efforts in coordinating and advising this event. NAFA, the CIC headquarters, the German delegation, everybody that's here that made a difference already, thank you very much for this. And especially also to you, the CIC members, the spouses, the friends that participate in this and that are here because they want to see a difference. Lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Christian Neuer, who put his heart and soul into every detail of what we have here for the next couple of days. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all an unforgettable stay in beautiful Namibia, but more importantly, a successful conference which will undoubtedly lead the way for wildlife conservation. Make it count.